nothing like the smell of fresh air coming down from the mountains in a video game. <laughs> so what's happening guys? Welcome back to another episode of Firewatch, a fantastic little game indeed. I am so in love with the story and the art style of this game. Hope you guys are as well. And last time we got acquainted with Henry, a man that unfortunately has either lost his wife or is losing his wife and to sort through his emotions or to possibly try and escape them, he's decided to come here out of the middle of nowhere to be a Firewatch. Unfortunately, his first day on the job was not very welcoming. He had to try and stop a couple of skinny dippers from burning down the forest using fireworks. That should be 101 when you go to the forest. Don't do dumb shit like burn it down with fireworks. And uh, possibly in response to him destroying their radio, or rather Hyde did it for him, <laughs> they may have vandalized his Firewatch tower. Or possibly it could be a creepy guy we saw when we were trying to come back, going up a trail. He was just standing there, a shadowy silhouette with a flashlight, not quite sure. Either way, though, his first day on the job has not been very welcoming. So, uh, let's talk to our new friend, Delilah. I'm awake. I'm awake. What's your problem? Our problem. <sighs> Sorry, our problem. That storm knocked out the phone line I used to talk to the service, which means we're cut off. I tried radioing out, and that's not working either. Hmm. Um, of course he can go I fix really it. I why that would be the case. Can I go fix it? Well... You probably can't, but what you can do is hike out to where the wire runs through your area and report back if it's down. Then I can track down a ranger to get someone on it. Okay, I can do that. Where is it? Remember that cave you hiked through yesterday? Yeah, of course. So, you're gonna want to go back there, go through it, and keep going straight to the north when you come out. Will do. Thanks, Hank. Oh, she's so delightful. It's Henry. What, you don't like Hank? Yeah, I don't like Hank. <laughs> But thanks rhymes with Hank. No, it doesn't. Okay, all right. There's something about her. She is so chipper. Why do I feel like it's not really a human? It's just an artificial intelligent machine that's been specifically set up in Delilah's tower to communicate with other people. This is one giant experiment to mess with my mind, huh? <laughs> Only joking. I like how he was able to clean up his entire tower, but not patch up the window. I suppose if you're here in the mountains with all this fresh air, why bother? But uh, then again, you never know. I mean, out here in the forest, mosquitoes and bugs can get quite thick and big indeed. That's the last thing I would want to have to deal with. Trying to sleep out in nature would be pretty peaceful and nice until a giant bug lands on your face or a spider crawls up your leg. Okay, so the cave we were trying to go through from last episode... Oh! Morning forest burns. Yes, lovely day to be a freaky silhouette that buries people alive. I know you've watched many people suffocate under the soil as you sit there with your giant white grin. Yeah, that's right. Come into my forest. I will bury you alive. That's probably what he sounds like, right? Uh, okay, so we put him there. So I think the path we took was over here. Oh, of course, by the, the, uh, the outhouse. Hmm. This would not be a fun place to have to take a dump. Oh, generator. So this generator is all the power I've got out here. Yep, it doesn't go through much gas and, well, you don't have much in the way of electronics, so. Very true. What about my hair dryer? Oh, I'm sorry. You might just have to make peace with frizzy locks. I could never. Hmm, you guys have a little thing going on here. Really, Henry, you just lost your wife and already you're kind of soft core, uh, uh, you know, flirting with her. Not full flirting, but kind of flirting. Or maybe it's just friendship. I wouldn't know the difference. I've never had friends. All right, so uh, how do I get down here? I'm pretty sure the path we took from last time was over here somewhere, right? Maybe? Am I stupid? I could have sworn it was right over here somewhere. Yes, here we go. Okay, let's drop down here. And don't break every bone in your body, Henry. Nicely done. You have to be agile and athletic. Two things I know you're not. I mean, look at those ankles. They're not even ankles, they're cankles. He has no ankles at all. Or rather, he has ankles, they're just thick. All right, let's go down here. And I believe the cave was at the bottom. Right? Possibly? Oh, what's this? Oh, it's actually pretty damn cold out here. Roger that. Warms up fast. The mornings are cold in Boulder though, right? Yeah, they are. What did you get up to down there? I mean, what's life like? Pretty boring. Uh, oh, no, okay. Talk about your favorite bar. Uh, you know, boring if you don't ski. 
we used to go to this bar called the Dollar, though. I love that place. Oh, wait, is that down on Pearl? They have all the money pinned to the ceiling? Yeah, that's it, yeah. Wow. <laughs> I love that bar. Why don't you go anymore? Ooh, touchy subject. Um, I just don't. I just don't. Fair enough. Hey, can you hold on a sec? Uh, sure. Just gonna keep hiking and hoping it warms up. Well, that's one way to warm hey, up. Don't... Exercise. I don't think so. Why, have you? Okay, good. No, I don't think he has any idea. Oh? Uh, hey, your I'm button is still down. Sure. Would you? All right, I'll let you know if anything changes in that regard. She sounds very different. Hey, sorry about that. Anyway, if there's anyone or anything you want to talk about, fire away. Interesting. Who was that? Who was who? I, I don't think he has any idea. What, what was that? Were you talking about me? Uh, what? Oh. You left your button pressed or something. Henry, that call was work. I was just talking to... Actually, it's not really your business. Why are you freaking out? I'm not freaking out. Good. I'm gonna go quiet for a little bit. Call me if it's important. Oh, she's going quiet? Okay. You're making me very suspicious, Delilah, wherever your damn tower is. He doesn't have any idea. I told you this was a giant experiment to mess with my mind. That's all it is. Actually, I am very lost. I have no idea where the hell this cave was. I, I hear you guys screaming in the comments. Yes, I probably can't check my map. All right, so, uh, survey communication lines north of the canyon. Okay, there's Thunder Canyon. Um, so I'm guessing north would be over here somewhere, right? Possibly? Do I see anything on here that indicates a, uh, a communication line? I don't think so. I'm very suspicious of that call. Like she sounded completely different from her normal prying chipper self. Who was she talking to? And what about? Oh wait, here's the cave, I think. Yes! Wonder how many buried hikers are in there. How many spelunkers got trapped inside? Maybe this is a prison for people that don't actually make it in the, uh, the giant experiment. It's a fire watch tower where they try and mess with your mind and when you inevitably go crazy, they throw you down here to be locked away forever. <laughs> Only joking. I always suspect the worst in people. And rightfully so, people are terrible. Do I have my flashlight? I do, okay, thank God. So she said go north of the cave. So I'm guessing it's obviously this way, right? Oh, Delilah! It's so lonely out here. Talk to me, please. Let's clear the brush out of the way. Look at me, a real man in the wilderness. I feel like I need to have a stick of deodorant named after me. No, I need a man's grooming kit named after me. The uh, Henry hair remover. I, I have no idea. <laughs> All right, I don't see any. Oh, wait. Nope, that is not a communication line. Hmm. Well, I've come to a pass of the, uh, the path. Do I go that way? No, I don't think I can go that way. Uh, Delilah, this would really help me out here if you could talk to me. Just saying. One, it's lonely out here. Two, I'm left with my thoughts. And three, I don't have much to talk about. And my viewers get bored really quickly. Okay, well, I'm assuming I go this way, clearly. I have a feeling there's more about Delilah that we're going to learn. She acts very chipper and upbeat, but uh, she may even have her own dark past. Maybe that's why people always come here. Oh, but I see the lines right there. She even said so herself the first day on the job. People always come out here to run away or escape from something, so maybe she's doing the same thing. Okay, there's the utility pole. Uh, I can see the wire you're talking about. It looks like it's in good shape from here. We'll follow it up to the top of the trail if you can. You can head back as soon as you give me the all clear. Got it. And uh, what makes you my boss, huh? So we really can't reach anyone any other way than these wires? What else do you suggest? Smoke signals? Just seems dangerous. Well, if they don't hear from me for a few days, they'll send someone out. But I'd rather it not come to that. A few days? <laughs> It's a long time to wait if you've just been mauled by a bear and you're slowly bleeding out. A few days? Oh, an old outhouse. Uh, hey, I found a structure that might have been an outhouse once, I think. It's definitely an outhouse. Whoa, uh, you don't need my permission to go to the bathroom, but, you know, use abandoned shitters at your own peril. Shitters. <laughs> I mean, I'm in the right area. I 
I do believe uh, the comms wire runs for quite a ways. Follow it all the way to the top of Beartooth Point, and if it's not damaged, you can loop around back home. Man! I really have a long way to go! You wake up pretty early then, huh? As soon as the sun comes up, the Forest Service really frowns on us putting up curtains for some reason. Really? Oh, okay, I guess that kind of makes sense! I'll get used to it. Been a bit of a night owl for a long time now. Oh, it's fine. I mean, fires don't really start until 11 a.m. or so. Really? Seriously? No. Good lord. I just thought maybe it was one of those things like how earthquakes only happen at sunrise and sunset. Oh, uh, that's not true either. Henry. Yeah, no, Jeez, not even close. really letting anyone in these days. Hmm. Henry, my man, you are a bit gullible. Although, for a moment there, I, I was kind of considering it. Wait, really? Seriously? <laughs> They only start at a certain time. I mean, that doesn't make any sense, because if someone decided, hey, I'm going to go ahead and douse the trees in gasoline and burn them down, clearly, it could be at any time of the day or night. Okay, I think... Can't really go this way. Is there an alternate path I could take? Yes, there is. Right down there. And also, it is very annoying that the controls for running and uh, using my walkie-talkie are so weird. I want to sprint with shift, because I'm on PC, and uh, I want to use my radio with some other button. I don't know why. Radio R! R for sprinting in this game. It would make so much more sense if to use the radio, you press R instead of shift. This game, I just have to be so weird. Okay, I see a supply box up here. Can I actually open this? Guess we're gonna find out. Although, this could be a long detour for nothing. But, there could be a granola bar in there. And Henry is very fat and very hungry. Could have sworn, yep, there it is. And I can't actually take this path, so I definitely made a detour for no reason. Uh, let's open it up. Again, world's most secure combination. One, two, three. Just imagine if I pop this bad boy open and there's a gun in there. I feel a lot safer. But clearly, there's not going to be a gun. But I can go ahead and upgrade my map. Well, uh, update it, not upgrade it. You can't upgrade a map. Unless it goes from a map that's paper to GPS. Which, that's not what's happening here. Pine cones! I don't know why people are throwing pine cones in here. That's not a valuable asset that I need to save. <laughs> uh, what do we have here? Nothing, seriously? Pine cones, firewood, and some random leaves. Cool, all right then. Oh, and we have a note. All right, 730, 1986. Dave, hey, yo, I got your note about needing to talk, and sorry I didn't track you down. Been looking for you all day. Figured you'd be out near the canyon helping those grad students, but I guess not. I don't even know how I could really help anyway. We're coworkers, you know. Amigos, just professional, I, I don't know how to say that word. I'm not even gonna try. If you need someone to throw a case back with and go time traveling, Ron's your guy. But I'm not great with the life stuff. You get it later, Ron. Well, Ron. Wow, what a friend you are. Ron's probably the, not Ron, but this guy's probably the dumbass to put the, uh, the pine cones in the supply boxes. I'm trying to be a real dick about it. Okay, all right. Well, that was a complete waste of my time. What's the point of putting a lock on a box like that when all you have is pine cones and a really sorry note? A note that's levitating. All right, then. Let's continue this way. Um, Delilah. Hmm. Calling her out about being so different and talking about us behind our backs probably was not the best of ideas. Beer cans. Let me just clean that up. Look at me doing my job to preserve nature. What if a turtle came along and tried to chow down on that and died? Exactly. Oh, long drop. Don't break your knees. Nicely done. Well, I hopped down a drop and now I can't climb back up. Hmm, that is a pickle. I, mean, I can just keep hiking, but I figured I should let you know in case I get myself trapped out here. Hmm, how adventurous of you. I've been doing a lot more climbing out here than I expected. Well, keep your radio charged. I'd hate to one day find a skeleton with an orange backpack at the bottom of a ravine. How does she know I have an orange backpack? How do you know that? All right, utility pole. Uh, yeah, okay, the wire's down here. Really? Awesome. Good find. It's like, I don't know, a mile and a half east of me. You just follow the trail up the hill, you can't miss it. I'll go see what the damage is. Interesting, this looks like it's almost done on purpose. Follow the beer cans, and now we find the downed wire. Somebody's messing with us out here. First, they try and ransack and, uh, well, I mean, let's be honest, they, they brutalized his uh, Firewatch Tower. 
pretty much did everything short of sawing it down. And then now they've done this. Why would you do that though? It's beyond me. Someone's trying to sabotage me. Go to hell. Re oh, it was the girls. That's their panties. And they have a, <laughs> a drawing of, well, I'm guessing that's supposed to be Henry, but it kind of looks like, you know, Burns. Good old Bernie boy. Hmm. Okay, is there anything else we can do around here? No? Actually, hold up. Hey, so the wire is definitely down out here. I just found it. Yeah, the thing is, it doesn't look like the wind. It looks like it was cut deliberately. It's snipped clean through, and there's a bunch of beer cans out here. The same beer those girls were drinking. They also left us a, a message. <sighs> These idiots are gonna pay. Do they realize this is how people die? I mean, what if something happened to one of my lookouts while this was going on? And God forbid there's an actual fire burning out of control. What do you want to do? I want you to go find them. And then what? I... <sighs> I haven't thought that far ahead. That's not true. Everything that comes to mind is illegal. Mm. Let's hear it. Oh, yeah? Hey, I came out here for a breath of fresh air and some adventure. What do you got? I think I want you to just find them and scare the hell out of them. Yeah, I'd make a spooky ghost costume, but they stole my sheets. <laughs> hmm, I don't know. Um, wait for them to wander off and wreck their camp. Something that would make a teenage girl run home to mommy and daddy. <laughs> I'll find him. Wow, okay. But I'm gonna need a raise. <sighs> Don't hold your breath. I'd start by hiking back towards your tower and just keep an eye out for anything that would lead you to them. Oh, well, they're big into Red Eagle. <laughs> Great. See if you can find the path they took down from there. Maybe they looped back around towards the lake or something. I doubt they're where they were yesterday, but they obviously can't have gone far. Hmm, well this should be relatively easy. You don't need to be Sherlock Holmes to follow the beer cans. I'm not quite sure how those girls managed to snip that wire. It looks like it goes straight across a very far drop. Not quite sure at all. <laughs> but uh, I guess we'll find out. Maybe they're athletes. Very athletic athletes, mind you. All right, look at this. Speaking of being athletic, Henry is gonna be truly in great shape after this job. So many beer cans. Starting to wonder if these girls aren't alcoholics themselves. Jeez. This is enough beer to get at least 12 guys that are into sports during like the NFL kickoff, like easily drunk. I mean, we've run across at least two or three cases of beer. That's a lot of beer. They are very experienced. There's no way they're teenage girls. All right, we came from that way. Uh, let's just keep following the beer cans. Unless, oh no. The trail has dried up. It's gone cold. No more beer cans. None at all. Oh, we got a dangling rope up there. That could be something. Let's drop down here. All right. Could go this way, but I suspect what we want to find is probably down here. That looks very interesting indeed. In fact, I think I see a backpack. I do. Maybe we'll find a dead hiker. <laughs> Morbid, yes, but somehow interesting. Nothing actually ever happens out here, besides skinny dippers. There's an abandoned pack out here. And it's not one of the teens? No, it looks like it was lost a long time ago. Well, you could always pilfer it for supplies. I like what, uh, I like what you're thinking right now. I feel like whoever was up there definitely fell and broke every bone in their body. <laughs> they probably crawled into a cave and died. All right, let's try and grab it. Come on, there we go. Ooh, who is this? Brian Goodwin. Interesting, what do you have in here, Brian Goodwin? Polaroid camera. Very nice rope indeed. Well, I am flush with ropes now. That pack was full of them, in decent condition too. That's lucky. I mean, there's there's enough rope here that I could just leave them hooked up, I think. Oh, get this, this uh, pack came with one of those cardboard single-use cameras. With pictures left? Yeah, he only used three or four. Neato. Neato. Thank you, Brian Goodwin. Wait, wait, who? The bag had the name Brian Goodwin sewn into the top. Huh. Wow. Do you know him? Yeah, I just haven't heard that name in a few years. Really? What happened? 
Was he a ranger or something? Oh, no, no. He was stationed in Two Forks, your lookout, with his dad, Ned, three summers ago. Great kid. You can bring children out here? No. You know, I'm not a stickler for rules. They took off halfway through the summer. Why? Where did they go? I don't know. I never really hit it off with old Ned. And, um, one day they were just gone. Sucks. Anyway, so it goes. Have, uh, fun with that camera. Try not to snap anything that would scar a Photodome employee. I don't know. I got a lot of hiking to do. Might get bored. Well, I'm bored as rocks, so I'll keep you company while you find those girls, huh? Yeah, 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 sure, you do that. This looks like a very promising picture. All right, well then. There we go, one picture taken. You know what? Just to be safe, I'm going to take a picture of this box. You never know. Maybe uh, this is a scene of a crime. I mean, that does look like someone deliberately cut the ropes. Maybe someone fell and died. Now, I just need to take a picture of this just so they know I was here. Because somehow that's going to help, I suppose, in their case. I don't know. <laughs> oh, man. What if uh, all the Firewatch guys slowly disappear for mysterious reasons? And Delilah's the only one that's been here since the start. I'm very suspicious of everything, I know. How do we open this? Here we go. Okay. Again, world safest combination. And what's inside? Please don't be pine cones. Pine cones? No, a fossilized claw. Cool. Don't mind if I do. Uh, someone found a fossil and put it in a cash box. Oh, really? Damn, that is a fossil. Is that like a claw from a T-Rex or is that a tooth? I don't know, either way. Let's put that back in there. Uh, a loose stone. Sure, why not? If I see a hiker, I'll just pluck it. Or not pluck it, but I'll, I'll toss it at their head. We have another note here. Okay, read. Oh boy, Dave, guess who's going out with Debbie next week? I don't know who. No, not that shit heel Steve. It's your man, Ron. Man, Ron, Ron seems like he's a cool guy. This person's been talking about Ron a lot. I went up to check out the new guy at Two Forks and heard him talking to himself more than usual for LOs. Uh, so I figured I'd stay away. Remember when you saw Chimney Rock having himself in the hammock? Wait, what? When you saw Chimney Rock having himself in the hammock? What does that mean? Having himself. Does that mean, like, you know, yeah, pleasuring himself? <laughs> I'm starting to think that the Forest Service only picks the deranged and perverted. Except for us, of course. We're the cream de la cream. Let's toast to D-E-B at the spot. Ron. Hmm. Ron. Okay. Ron and Dave. Who is this Ron and Dave? I guess we'll find out. Let's put that note back. Let's go ahead and uh, update our map. There we go. And let's continue on our epic journey to try and find, I'm sure, a dead hiker. I'm joking. We're not going to find a dead hiker. Although, oh, wait, what's that? Column of smoke. I see a really thin plume of smoke. Yeah, I see it too. A thin plume like this is either a new fire or a campfire. Campfire? Y you think it's them? I reckon so. It looks like it's to the southwest of me. That's right. If you hike towards Five Mile Creek, that should put you in the neighborhood. Keep an eye on that smoke plume. Let me know if it's getting any larger. Will do. If that's really them, they picked an amazing spot to have a campfire and a base. I mean, look at that. They get a view of everything. Hey, uh, Delilah? What do you got? You found him? Uh, no, not yet. Why would there be a fence out here? Uh, because sometimes hikers go ass over tea kettle when on a trail. So the Forest Service would put up a big chain-link fence? A chain-link fence? Yeah. It looks like it surrounds a huge area. Huh. That's weird. Tell me about it! Uh, could those girls be behind the fence? Who are they keeping out? Who are they keeping out? Who are they keeping out of here? And why? Ah, uh, jeez. I don't know. Maybe it's biologists, you know? Well, they don't want people traipsing on their precious lichens. I seriously doubt that's what that is. What's a lichen? Well, wouldn't you lichen to know? Oh my god, goodbye. I'll ask next time I talk to someone, but <laughs> that'll probably be a few days. Do you think those girls could be behind this fence? Hmm, well, having once been an ornery young woman, the last thing I would do is climb a fence. 
especially if I knew I was in trouble. I, I don't even know how I would get in. It's really strange that that's out there, by the way. Yeah, it's weird. You're telling me about it. This whole place is shrouded in secrecy. Hey, you remember that guy from yesterday? The guy I saw hiking home? Yes. Maybe he was from this fence place. Fence place? Mm, <laughs> the land of the fence. Yes. You know what? I'll make a note. You might be on to something. Oh, I'm definitely on to something. I'm Sherlock Holmes out here cracking this case wide open. Why would they need a fence? Maybe it's to separate the barbarians that live out in the forest, like Bigfoot. Maybe Bigfoot's out there to separate Bigfoot from the trailblazers and the uh, splunkers and the deranged teenage girls that want to burn the place down. It's definitely what that is. Although it's not a very tall fence, but they're working on it. I'm not quite sure. Either way, it's mysterious, and I do like a mystery. But most importantly, it's keeping me from going in there, which makes it even more intriguing. That's a very pretty place. Aw, look at this. Very nice indeed. Okay, we gotta find a way up on top of that rock. Oh, burn tree. Well, someone definitely set up a campfire here, and the whole place burned down. Although, trees are starting to grow back. So I suppose there's something good that came of it. All right, uh, let's see now. How can I get up here? Find the source of the smoke. Well, we know what the source of the smoke is. Fire, duh. The only question is, how do I get up there? Probably. Oh wait, can I actually go this way? Nah, it'd never be that easy. Nope, okay, there's a barrier. Well, I guess we just keep going. Hey, sorry about snapping at you earlier. Um. I thought about it, and yeah, I suppose that must have sounded kind of weird when you heard me take that other call. Plus, you're just out here in your own head. <laughs> Trust me, I know how it is. So, did you break any hearts back in Colorado when you took this job? Mm. I myself have chosen to never get attached to anyone who would miss me, but <laughs> I know I'm a bit of an outlier. I don't mean that the way it sounds. I mean, I care about people, and... I like companionship as much as the next person. But why does it have to come from the same person for your whole life? My Aunt Kathy was married to the same guy for four decades. And when he died, she found out he'd been having an affair with a real estate broker. For 15 years. Whereas my Aunt Judy traveled the world dating artists and musicians as she saw fit. Call me crazy, but I'd rather spend a week in bed with Sonny Bono than half a lifetime with some cheating stockbroker. Wow, okay. I'm actually married. But you're here. Yeah. Strange, right? Um. She's sick. And I shouldn't be here, but I am. I... I'm sorry, Henry. What is it? We'll get into it. Okay. Well, in the meantime, you are here. And it's beautiful. And escaping isn't always something bad. Yeah, sure. Like, I gotta go do a thing, but I'll have a radio. Okay, call me if you need to. You got a sister. See, the problem with uh, what she was just, well, not just doing, but before when she snapped at Henry, the call she was making where it sounded very suspicious, whoever she was talking to, that really wasn't the issue. It's the way she responded that made things seem I'm suspicious. I'm having a hell of a time getting this fucking flapjack off his ass and out to repair that wire. Uh, flapjack? <laughs> Excuse me, flapjack? You know, like a loser, a chotch. I really don't, but I do now. Well, the next time you're at a bar and some banker steps on your foot so he can order his crappy martini, you've got just the name to use. I don't think I'll be using that. Hey, Flapjack, why don't you wait your turn before I bounce your face off a dumpster? <laughs> it's beautiful. You get punched so hard trying that. Don't, don't do it, Henry. Don't do it. <laughs> Flapjack, what type of an insult is that? Okay. Wait, I've been here. Is this the exact same cave? No, there's no way. No, it's not. Man, that is a beautiful scene. You know what? Hold up. I'm a freaking photographer, man. Mm. I feel like I should make the sound. The like that. The flash sound. Oh, that is gorgeous. I know these are kind of random pictures, but why not, right? Should probably save it in case we run across a crime scene. Yeah, all right. It's so strange that these two are connecting so quickly. They're, they're especially Delilah. She is willing to just put everything on the table and share all of her life story. 
I'm down in Thunder Canyon. I'm not seeing that smoke anymore. Oh, it's still burning away. Try heading west from where you are. If you loop past the lake, there should be a trail that'll take you further south. Thanks, that helps. Oh, look at me, I'm already on it. Actually, you know what? One more random picture, why not? I've got plenty of shots left. There we go. Look at this, I am so good at being out in nature. I was bored for this shit, as long as it happens in a video game. Okay. Um, I guess, oh wait, is that the smoke? I think that might be the smoke. And I love the music. But yeah, again, it's really strange how Delilah is willing to share every aspect of her life. Either she's so lonely and bored it's not funny, or she's a, uh, a therapist and she's trying to recruit new clients and they secretly send people here without knowing they're at a camp for therapy. No, that, that's too grand of a scheme. It would never happen. All right, then. Although, I'd be very smart. Oh, your wife's dying of dementia? Well, listen, how about you become a fire watch watcher? Fire watch watcher, that doesn't make sense. How about you watch fires out in the wilderness? And you just so happen to run across this woman named Delilah that is an open book that will say everything about her life and will share all of her experiences. Right? Almost too perfect. I am such a conspiracy theorist, I swear to God. <laughs> All right, uh, let's see now. We're definitely on the right track. The only question is, how the hell am I gonna get up what there? What does she have? Ooh. She's got Alzheimer's. Like, um, dementia. Whoa. How old was she? Is she? She's alive. She's with her family in Melbourne, Australia. She's 43. Mm. Fuck. Yeah. What was it like when you guys found out? Probably not easy. Devastating. Devastating? Especially for her. You can understand. And for you. Anyway, everything she worked for was taken away, and that was it. Yeah. I'm sorry to be such a downer. Don't, don't, don't even. I'm happy to listen. And, you know, we'll try to have some fun this summer. I promise. If you say so, although I've already had quite a lot of fun. I've had a granola bar, I've fallen and broken my back a few times, and I got to ruin a couple skinny dippers' uh, fun time by stealing their fireworks, their liquor, and <laughs> destroying their boombox. I mean, if that's not fun, then I don't know what fun is. I'm calling it now. This is a secret therapy camp for people that are going through life-changing, stressful situations. And Delilah is a trained therapist, right? That's definitely what's happening here. All right, now where in the hell am I supposed to go? See, this is why I need a machete. Cut through all the tall grass and the trees. You don't use a machete on trees. Point proven, I've never been in nature. All right, there's a column of smoke. What the, wait, I just heard some critters over here. See, I sound like I'm out in nature. I heard some critters. Where are the critters at? Is it a beaver? Hmm, yeah, keep trying to hide from me. I'll eventually find you, and when I run out of food, I will chop you into little bits and eat you. Very morbid. All right, let's go this way. Again, I'm a trailblazer that gets lost very easily. Okay, that's definitely not where I'm supposed to go. Should probably consult the map. But uh, who has time for that? Through here? Maybe? Oh, under the log, obviously. And out in the open. Okay, now where's that plume of smoke? There it is. All right, we're definitely on the right path. I kind of wonder what, wonder what the, uh, the point of the camera is. Like, is it just fun or just taking photographs or does it actually serve a purpose? Maybe at the end of the game, you get to review all of your, uh, your pictures you took. But again, why? <laughs> why? Can I go? No, I can't go up there. Hmm. This would be a lot easier if they gave your boy a, um, an ATV, a four-wheeler, a, uh, a dirt bike, anything. A Polaris? Or maybe a, a glider. It's a great way to get around, right? Until you run out of fuel. How would that work? If you're in a glider, you run out of fuel? Okay, I can't go that way. Oh, possibly over here? I'm definitely going the wrong way. Yes, okay, well then. How in the hell am I supposed to find the source of this fire? Uh, hold up, I'm clearly lost. Give your boy one moment. How'd you meet? Oh. 
Met in a bar. Mm, the birthplace of modern romance. I stumbled over and told her she was pretty, and that was it. Aw, you were brave. I was drunk. <laughs> but how? Big time drunk. Okay, I am truly not a Daniel Boone or a trailblazer because I am lost, 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 lost. I don't know how the hell I'm supposed to get over there. There's the smoke. Man, come on, can I swim? No, unfortunately. Mm. Wow, am I really this dumb? Okay, hold up, we are here at two forks. Um, What did she say from before? She said go north, right? I definitely overshot big time, huh? <laughs> oh boy. See, this is why you don't let me out of nature. Even though everything's clearly marked with paths and trails and signs, I will somehow get lost and die of starvation. Uh, granted, it will take quite a while, but it'll happen. Oh, I am so stupid. It was right here in front of my face and I missed it. Okay, here we go. That is some quality strong rope. Just not for the person that was actually using it. <laughs> Not sure what happened to him. All right. And I believe the plume of smoke was right over here, right? Oof. What are you gonna do when the fire season wraps up? I'm not sure. Are you gonna go be with her? Just go back to Boulder? You should go be with her. That's my opinion. Well, <sighs> no one asked you your Sorry opinion. for the umpteenth time. Anyway, call me when you find the girls. Or anything. Or call me whenever you want. I'll probably just head back to Boulder and, I don't know, I'll figure out what's next. Or maybe I'll move. <laughs> no. You should go see her. Yes, you love her. If she remembers me. I know I don't know anything about your situation, but I think you should go or you'll regret it. She'd love to see you. I think you should go. But, well, now, why does your opinion matter? <laughs> she is a therapist, I'm telling you. There's something suspicious about this woman. She's not just a normal person that watches fires from a fire watch tower. Maybe she's read too many books. But see, this is long before there were Karens on the internet with blogs that thought they knew everything because they read it somewhere else. So I'm not quite sure what makes her an expert on everything. <laughs> what do we have here? A missing persons report. Very interesting indeed. Okay, no, hold up. What, what? There we go, nearly lost it. All right, missing person, Mitch Michaels, age 31, 6'2", 165 pounds, short brown hair, all right, distinctive facial hair. Maybe that's who we saw out there from before. Mitch Michaels was last seen around Jonesy Lake on July 3rd, 1981. He was first reported missing on July 29th, 1981 by Forest Service personnel. He is not known to be familiar with the area. The last known location, Mitch was seen around uh, Jonesy Lake on the morning of July 3rd, 1981. Vehicle info. Okay. He is dead. <laughs> That's what I'm going to say. He is long since dead and gone. I want to hold on to that. And the picture of... Nope, never mind. That is of uh, Te uh, Teddy Roosevelt, right? Yeah, no, Theodore Roosevelt, not Teddy. Well, maybe Teddy. I don't know. Roosevelt, point being, with his badass cavalry hat. Let's update the map. All right, he just kind of looked at it. Uh, nope, he scribbled on it. And again with the pine cones. You bait me in with a single delicious granola bar at the beginning of the game, but now all I get is pine cones? I can't eat pine cones. There's nothing useful with pine cones. Unless I want to try and, I don't know, rehabitate the forest. But that's not what I want to do. I want to eat something. Or I want to shoot a gun. Or drink whiskey. Boy, for as dry as it is this summer, there's an area down here that's, uh, lush. Oh, you must be talking about the Aspen Grove down there. Yeah, I think that's where I am. Those trees are actually one root organism. Did you know that? I did not, but apparently you do, Karen. I didn't. Yeah, they share their water as a colony that can live for hundreds of years, even through fire. Can you believe you're actually getting paid to learn all of these amazing things? Also, uh, by what it looks like on this map, you'll be coming up on a stream that should lead you towards where we saw that smoke. Ooh, this is so beautiful. Man. Again, I'm telling you, the artistic style from this point of view being kind of cartoonish really just exaggerates the beauty of the game. 
And as I say that, the music kicks in to uh, reinforce my point. <laughs> There's the stream. Oh, wow, look at that. That is so gorgeous. Almost makes me want to be out in nature. Almost, I'm that close. But I know better. Although, I must admit, we do have a park very close to my house that is kind of like this. Not this exactly, but uh, you try and go outside during this, you know, golden hours when the sun's setting, and it, it might look like this, minus the rocks, of course. All right, I think I should probably go this way. Now, where's that fire at? Uh, plume of smoke. I don't see it now. Uh, maybe they saw me coming. <laughs> oh, look at that. Okay, hold up. I am a photographer, let me tell you what. That is gonna be on the cover of a wildlife magazine. Calling it now. I was bored for this shit. Oh, hold up, we have a beer can. Found one of their empties. Guess we're on the right track. Roger that. Mmm, man, how much beer did you guys bring with you? There's so much beer. Oh, there's the waterfall. It's a really nice waterfall down here. Given those girls love a skinny dipping, I bet they're nearby. Scrap of fabric. Uh, there's some cloth out here. It looks like it was torn from something. Strange. I'll keep looking around. Looks like the wolf finally uh, did it in for his little old Red Riding Hood. <laughs> she got eaten up. And Grandma, too. Oh, more beer cans. These girls are straight up alcoholics. Their livers are toast. Good Lord. Okay, uh, little Red Riding Hood's dead. Confirmed. Lots of beer cans. Beautiful waterfall. The only question is, where's the smoke at? I don't see it anymore. Oh, there it is. There's the campfire. And they have a whole case of beer. Jeez. You guys really came out here for a fun time. I see a campsite, and it looks like they've got a fire. Is it them? No, it seems like it. I swear, they must have dragged four cases of <laughs> I beer know, right? here. Track them down, and don't let them see you. What a job this is. Uh, let's just go on to stomp this out. Look at me, doing such a good job. Come on, where, where's the zeal, my man? Put some force behind that. Really show that wood who's boss. Sounds like I'm talking about something else, I know. Okay, I think that's good, right? Yeah, yeah, there we go. One, one more, just for good measure. There we go, we put the fire out. Big old case of beer. These girls have a full case of beer left here, a full case. Well, they're impressive little shits, I guess. <laughs> that is some dedication. Oh, there's his sheets. Ah, found my sheets. So they did break into your tower. Looks like. I never would have thought they would have done that. It's impressive they even knew what to do in the first place. I mean, they just saw a random guy throw their radio while their boombox into the water, and then they're like, you know what, hold up. That must be the Firewatch guy. Let's go to his tower and vandalize the whole place. Really, I can't take the sheets back with me? Okay. I have entered the teen zone. Oh, really? And where's that? It's the name of a magazine for girls. It's on the ground here at their camp. Hunks. <laughs> hunks. Well, I found some dangerous hunks. What on earth are you? It's another one of those magazines. Yeah, I don't know about that. <laughs> Oh, okay. Well, this isn't good. Uh, some of their clothes are all torn up. Uh, that's not good. That's what I just said. The big bad wolf is definitely out here somewhere. Well, you know what? If they got eaten by the big bad wolf, they deserved it for all the trouble they put me through. Their tent looks like it's been through the shredder, which would explain that scrap I found. What could have done that? Like a, like a bear or, um... I don't know, it sounds crazy, but even a bull elk if it's off its rocker. Whatever did it, did not hold back. You've got that camera, right? It might be a good idea to get a few snaps, just in case. Yeah, good thinking. Ah, okay. Well, now the camera actually serves a useful purpose. We're investigators, investigating a potential crime scene. It's the big bad wolf, that's exactly what it was. He's out here chowing down on little girls. Uh, looks like someone left a note. Intriguing. Maybe you should read it. Okay, yeah. Let me know what it says. Will do. What do we have here? Dear Psycho, I hope you're fucking happy. 
We're leaving and we're going to find the police or whatever and tell them about how you creeped with all the little lines on there <laughs> uh, on us in the lake uh, and then came and destroyed our campsite and all of our stuff. Oh, and stealing panties is gross out. You're probably a mental fucking ax murderer and are so going to jail. I hope it was worth being a jerk over some fireworks, dick heart. <laughs> wow, okay, they really let me have it, damn. You know, maybe I should take one of their sleeping bags as payback. At this stage, take whatever you want. Oh, they're gone for sure. Well, what's it say? Threatening to call the police because they think I attacked them. Oh my god, well, did you? No! Um, but I did destroy their stereo. No, well, hey, I didn't do this, okay? Someone or something went to town here, but it wasn't me. Because I told you to scare them, not assault them. I would never! I didn't. Of course I didn't. I just threw their stereo in the lake. Yeah, I really wish you wouldn't have done that. This is... I don't know, weird as hell, but it wasn't me. It's it's okay, I believe you. Weird stuff happens in the woods. It could be other campers. They could be having a bad mushroom trip. We really don't know, but they're gone. There's no way to call the cops. They're not coming back, and we can get to work. I'd really like to start enjoying a quiet summer. Yeah, me too. Hmm. All right, day number three. Wow, this has been eventful. He's only been here three days and all of this has happened. He just can't catch a break. Really, it took you three days to board up the broken window? All right, well, on that note, I think I'm gonna leave it off there for this episode. I hope you guys are still enjoying Firewatch. Hey, Henry? Yeah. Um, what do you look like? Okay, clearly you know what I look like. You know that I have an orange backpack. I know you've got some super binocular over there, or maybe like a telescope, but she's spying on me the whole time. But either way, hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and until the next video, peace out.